two, one, come in. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, be the music. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Sorry. It's another day in the crafting studio and today I have challenged Em to come up with a unique fashion look based exclusively of items she can find in this room. I was going to set a timer for her but in the time that it's taken me to film this she's already done it. So we go to Em now on the catwalk. Welcome to the main stage, Em. I don't have any clever puns. I don't know how they do this on Drag Race. Wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> one, one addition we could add to this. Well, welcoming back to the main stage to re-debut her look, it's M. Oh, she's wearing her best hosiery. Although that wig is past a point of no return. <laughs> That's a penny for your thoughts. <laughs> the work day is over, but I'm going to see a show tonight which is very exciting. However, said show doesn't start until 9.30 and I'm only 20 minutes from the theatre. So there's no point in me going home and then coming back. I may as well just wait for three hours in my office. <laughs> and that is all the footage I got of our night out because the theatre bar was very crowded and I didn't want to get my phone out. And obviously no filming allowed in the auditorium. Fair enough. But it was a very funny show. It was extremely cool and weird uh seeing britannic live given that i think tom introduced me to their comedy sketches well over a decade ago so yeah tom got to speak to both of them after the show which was very cool and then tom charlie matt and i hung back at the bar had a couple of drinks and now i'm just having a little reprieve a little pause because ended up getting home at about one o'clock in the morning had a couple of hours sleep woke up and then had an extremely stressful day. Yeah. So, just breathing for a bit. I don't like <laughs> This is you. You said to me, I want noodles. <laughs> I would like this one, please, and thank you. It's like the scene from Hook. <laughs> but with <Dimson. laughs> Oh my God, there's a person there. Oh, off they go. <laughs> Wow, dogs are really easy. They just yeah. they just look after themselves. Miss Minky. He loves Miss Minky. Who doesn't? She's holding hands so nicely. <laughs> this guy's just fucking digi everything, isn't he? <laughs> this is so much. What do you mean, me? I didn't make us do this. Wake up, Metal Groove Robot. <laughs> you wanna watch Shrek? I don't know what that is, um, but you take as long as you need to do it. <laughs> are you like, are you, is, is it, do you think it's that like you're excited or that you're scared? No, it's because I know that I love it so much. So <laughs> right. Don't laugh at me. I feel like holding this between my legs is a really good idea. Yeah, this is going to go super well for you. Oh, it worked beautifully. Thank wow. you. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Charlie, no. Color changing potion. I've been home sick these past couple of days. It's not COVID, it's like typical off season cold type situation. And it's snowing out. Which is mostly surprising for March. I mean, it's not great, but you know, I only woke up an hour ago, so there's not much I can do to combat climate change currently. So I'm just gonna watch the snow out my window. Okay, here we go. Hello, dogs. Straight past me. Hello, dogs. Hi. I'm trying to get to your food already. Wow, big no. Big no to that. Oh, so peaceful. So quiet. Yay! And then just uh, Chloe edit <laughs> me and doing it too.
you'll have to excuse my voice if it sounds different. I'm better now, but um, all the coughing I did in that week and also trying to use my voice whilst I was still ill and like power through, that was a bad idea and I've completely th blown my voice out basically. Anyway, the McElroys, McElroy brothers of my brother, my brother and me, one of my favourite podcasts, three of my biggest heroes, have just announced their 2023 tour dates. So if you saw season five of Little Moments, Little Moments 2020, you'll know that I booked tickets to see them before. And because I'm in the UK and they only do tours in the US, I also booked flights to go out and see them. So I booked flights to Boston, I had like accommodation sorted, I had my tickets all booked, and then lockdown obviously which you know i made my peace with pretty quickly lockdown was necessary and i wouldn't have traveled anyway given everything that was going on and then in 2021 they mostly did virtual shows i think they did a couple of things here and there but they were like one-offs and like local events and stuff and then in 2022 they announced their actual new proper tour and i was able to find two shows um, my Brother, My Brother and Me one and an Adventure Zone one, which were in DC, which was relatively cheap for me to get to. And so when they announced it at the beginning of the year, I was able to use the year to save up. And I got my tickets and I booked my flights and I booked my hotel, like all on the super cheap. I was going to be in America for like maybe just over 48 hours. It was like, get in, see them, get out kind of thing. I was very excited because it was over two years at this point and I've been wanting to see them for so long and obviously I never got to see them in the first place so it was a nice like oh I can finally do this and yeah we're all good to go November 2022 it rolls around everything's booked I'm making plans about what I'm going to go see in Washington during the day because the shows are in the evening eight hours before my flight eight hours before my flight I tested positive for COVID and I had to cancel everything. I was heartbroken, obviously. I gotten so close, twice, and both times just, nope, you don't get to do that thing. Maybe it's one of those things where it's like, it's like a prophecy and the child born on the 2nd of January, should she ever see her heroes in person, the world will immediately end. And so the universe is conspiring to stop me from ever doing that to save the world, which fair enough, I get it. I did just have a look at flights and hotels for the various places in the various tour dates. The cheapest so far would be Ohio, but that's A, very soon, and B, still more expensive than both the other times that I booked. And I'm like, I'm trying to save constantly because one day I do want to have a house, but that doesn't mean I necessarily have savings for this. This is a luxury. So I've waited this long. Maybe I'll wait one more year. Back in the studio for a little bit today. Got to test out some tattoo. <laughs> some tattoo marker pens. There's really no good way of showing you this. That's insane. I'm all better. My voice is pretty much back now, which is good. I'm gonna go home. I think I want to eat some cheesecake. I have something else that I wanted to do tonight. Oh, New Dimension 20. I'm gonna watch that. So, say bye, studio. Kiki. Kiki. This is the least helpful thing you could be doing right now. There's a game that I like to play with Kiki when she's bored called My Cat Doesn't Have Object Permanence. It looks a little bit like this. Kiki. When are you guys done? Hey, mom, hey, snap. Snap. <laughs> okay. You didn't get it. No. You're right, I truly don't. We're just having a little I, friendly game. I just game. can't believe you've betrayed me like this. Okay. I'm sorry. Don't enable him, please. My, my initial draw hasn't been good. Can you see each other's cards? Maybe, maybe Actually, I don't care. Maybe you're gonna love this. <laughs> just, oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, like, no. it's gonna take us years to, um, to really like, fully ascertain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, well, that isn't what we just watched, but that's where we just were. We watched The Princess Bride, which was the second time I've seen it. Nice. And it's very good. And then we watched Labyrinth. Which is the how many the time have you seen it? Maybe like the 200th time. It, it wasn't good. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe yeah. stop watching it then. Holy shit. Loud much? Yeah, you shut up. You shut up right now. Look at the size of that. You okay, baby? It's all right. I know it's big loud. Been a little lax on the updates because again I've fallen into that trap of I'm busy so I can't film forgetting that being busy is the stuff that I'm supposed to be filming. I read all of your comments and they're all very very lovely and so I think from last little moments not the last episode but like the last the previous five years of little moments I think a large part of what you enjoyed or what made you keep coming back to watch more is that it was very much Here's what life could look like when you are 26, 27, 28, 29, blah, blah, blah. Um, especially that kind of first year where I was really just starting whole new chapters of my life and figuring stuff out. And a lot of people responded to the fact that it was like, yeah, adulthood is <laughs> tricky and no one really tells you how to navigate it, but here's an honest look at kind of what it could look like. I think that's kind of also another part of why I'm doing this again because now I'm in my 30s and the world is scary but you know there are still we still we still have to fold washing <laughs> I guess this is just my way of saying hey don't worry well be worried the correct amount keep folding things <laughs> we're all just trying to carry on together as best we can and this is what 33 can look like it is now Saturday evening on Monday evening our boiler broke that was very good fun. So he messaged our landlord and he said he'd organise repairs. Took a while, but a repair guy did show up on uh, Wednesday, I believe. He said that, oh, it just needs resetting. And he hit this big reset button. And sure, the boiler turned on again, but it also started making a really horrible noise. And we were like, hey, hey, friend, that's a really horrible noise. And he was like, no, nah, it's supposed to do that. And we're like, it hasn't for the past six years. But he went away again and left us with the horrible noise. Sure enough, uh, three hours later, our boiler completely shut down. So we had to get our landlord back on the phone. Landlord said, oh, <laughs> weird. Guy comes around and was like, oh man, your boiler's really broken. I'm like, wow, yeah, it's like super broken, right? So he tries to fix it again, can't. Turns out we need a whole new boiler. That's a very roundabout way of saying we've been without hot water for just under a week. So yeah, so here's my cold washing. Luckily the washing machine is still working, but no hot water. That's been my week. Just finished the housework as well, and now we're gonna have a pretty chill evening of painting. And watching Dimension 20, because the new Never After episode is out, and I need to get on that. For even more of that good, good transparency, uh, this, <laughs> this is how I just filmed that shot. This is the rig that I have for work when I'm filming TikToks from home. That's a plate that had a tuna melt sandwich on it. That's some coke uh that's me hi uh that's the painting i'm gonna be working on hello it is soft speaking o'clock because it's late and it's a week night and i want to be respectful so our boiler is still broken last clip you would have seen about me talking about my boiler was three days ago tom and charlie were very kind enough to let me come around to their house to use the facilities have a nice shower and yeah been working been borrowing showers it's kiki's birthday as well none of which i've been able to talk about until now because my phone broke luckily because of the contract that i happened to be on with my old phone which was about three years old at this point i was due for an upgrade or a contract renewal so i was able to get a new phone on that contract without any extra expense it would just be like the same rolling uh, monthly fee that i was already on so i was like cool awesome and i went to like check out and like be like 
thank you send this phone to me please and when i did that when i hit that button it was like cool we've nearly finished your purchase we just we're just going to send you a text verification so that we can confirm your identity so that phone that's broken if you could just like check that real quick for that text luckily once again because i have amazing friends i was able to borrow a phone with my old sim card so that i could receive <laughs> the prerequisite text but at least now i am connected and can do my job again and i don't just mean little moments like my actual nine to five requires me to be able to film on my phone and i just couldn't for a little while there so feels good to be back it really feels like the life updates have been piling on recently it's fine we roll with the punches this whole little moments feels slightly less glamorous do you remember when I went to parties and things? <laughs> Do you remember when I left the house? I should try that again. Hey, that water is an upsetting colour. Go, Amy, go. Ramp it. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know where that went. Oh. Hey! I want to film the blue piss. Stop filming the blue piss. Yeah, look, it's the piss in the adverts. When they do an advert for toilet paper, this is the piss. Holds are something a lot less crazy. Yeah. There's a dinosaur, Tom. What are you talking about? There's so much threat. What? Charlie, did you poke the dinosaur? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great. Oh, boy. Stop, stop filming. Please. Stop filming. <laughs> it's a great shot, actually, yeah. Yeah, have you in mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, get away from my fucking ball. Oh, MasterCard. Oh, hey. oh, oh, quirky. Any minute now. No. Any minute now. <laughs> Any minute now. You gonna do it? Oh, no. Do you want? How crazy would you rate this particular one? This all is crazy. This, this is crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you explain it a bit? Break it down? Okay, sure. What you do is you hit the ball like this, and then it goes in the hole. I think Tom's the crazy one. Well, to me, it's just regular golf, so. <laughs> do it to him. Noise. They're in love. Tom, I think that's obstruction. <laughs> I'm, this is a legal move, actually. Tom. <laughs> you guys are doing dog shit all of a sudden. Are they puppers like you? Oh my goodness. Oh, Squidge is there too. <laughs> Hi, bud. Wow. Thank you. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh my god. I have begs. Begs, Tom. For multiple years for one of these. I have a feeling I know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> this is how I display all of my candies. I think we've lost the, the crowd. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm coming back. I hope it hasn't gotten worse. Oh no. A couple years ago, I bought Kiki one of these rainbow tunnels. It sadly broke from overuse. She loved it that much. So I bought a replacement and go. Ooh. <gasps> Immediate. Hi. <laughs> look, you also got a card from Auntie Amy. Should I read it to you? Oh, look, Encanto, your favorite. Isn't that lovely? Dear Kiki, happy birthday. Love from Dexter. Oh, that's your cousin. Cousin Dexter wrote you a card. Say thank you to Dexter. <laughs> uh, roll for initiative. We're currently trying to make our way through the jungle and Ginny, our youngest, has just run <laughs> into a giant spider web. So... Combat we go. He is up on his like, hind legs. This is truly and horrible. Then it's kind of like disgusting, slimy, slurpy mouth at you. <laughs> I kind of want to just take the attack of opportunity, to be honest. I'm going to take my movement, which is 40, and I'm going to make it all the way to the big boy. You cannot catch me, I'm too fast. And when I reach the big spider, um, great axe straight down on top of it, which is a nat 20. Nat 20 with my great axe, just slam it straight down on its face. You then, with the full force of your dash, bring your great 
axe down onto its head, splitting it clean in half. Well, we beat all the horrible spiders, so that was D&D. And now I'm going to go make some dinner, enjoy that for an hour. And then it's animation club tonight, which is when me and some fellow arty friends get together about once a month and watch an old animated movie. That was March. Um, bye.